In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I confess to so Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words. In what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O oh God, who made St. Peter Claver a slave of slaves, and strengthened him with wonderful charity and patience as he came to their help, Grant through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. Colossians 1 verses 21 to 23. Brothers and sisters. You once were alienated and hostile in mind because of evil deeds. God has now reconciled you. In the fleshly body of Christ through his death. To present you holy, without blemish. And irreproachable before him. Provided that you persevere in the faith. Firmly grounded, stable. And not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you heard which has been preached to every creature under heaven, of which I, Paul, am a minister. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm God Himself is my help. God Himself is my help. O God, by Your name save me, and by Your might defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer. Hearken to the words of my mouth. God himself is my help. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord sustains my life. Freely will I offer you sacrifice. I will praise your name, O Lord, for its goodness. God himself is my help. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was going through a field of grain on a Sabbath, his disciples were picking the heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands, and eating them. Some Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, Have you not read what David did? When he and those who were with him were hungry, how he went into the house of God, took the bread of offering, which only the priests could lawfully eat, ate of it, and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Peter Claver, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through the sacred mysteries, grant us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to give you thanks and to raise to you a hymn of glory and praise. O Lord, faithful, faithful Father and in, uh, Father of infinite goodness, for by your word, your son's gospel, you have brought together one church from every people, tongue, and nation, and having filled her with life by the power of your spirit, you never cease to her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, she dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom, and shines bright as the sign of your faithfulness, which in Christ Jesus our Lord you promised would last for eternity. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, while with all the church, as one voice, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. St. John Bosco said, Trust all things to Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary. Help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when his once for his disciples and now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord, my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death of the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ has been handed unto us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted down unto the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church, which is in most holy trinity past Christian by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, 
that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph our spouse, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with St. Peter Claver, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and take more distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, prepare us, we pray, for the eternal joys that as a faithful servant, blessed Peter Claver came to deserve through Christ our Lord. Amen. Or be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.